So in this episode, we're talking about the balance between the killers and the high school students. Let's get started. So yesterday, Justin Vasquez, the studio head of Elastic Games, aka the company that's making Last Year the Nightmare, did an interview with a couple people from Origin PC in a live stream. And one of the questions that he answered is, how are they going to handle the balance between the killers and the students? Let's see what he had to say. What was really important to us at Elastic was that both experiences be really exciting and really satisfying just in very different ways uh, i'm sure you've played a lot of those asymmetrical games where mm -hmm. it's super fun to play as one side and really yeah. boring to play as the other yeah yep. and so every kind of feeling you know getting in line for one and not the other and then they feel <laughs> like oh i didn't get to play as the big guy so i'm i'm just kind of waiting until i do right we didn't want that at all we wanted both sides of the experience to be fun in their own right and in their own way and to bring a, a different f fantasy from those ho the horror genre uh, to life and so uh, the balancing really comes from making sure that both sides have tools strat strategic options and tactical options that they can use to sort of level the playing field at any given point in time and, you know, I talked a bit about predator mode and uh, the special abilities for the killers, whereas on the survivor side, we have these two systems that work really well together, the class system mm -hmm. and the crafting systems nice. that allow the players to make really uh, difficult but strategic choices in the moment of how they're going to approach the game. Now, I really agree with Justin on this. One of the biggest issues you face when creating an asymmetrical survival horror game is the balance. Now, take Dead by Daylight, for instance, where the killers, well, they don't actually kill anybody, so the hook's bitches. Yeah, I like that. The hook's bitches are here. The survivors are way up here. This is very often balance, and I really don't like this at all. Now, don't get me wrong. I enjoy Dead by Daylight from time to time playing as the hook's bitches. But to play as the survivors is the most annoying thing I've ever done. Because the only thing you could do with them is work on a generator. Work on a generator. Work on a generator. Or run around a circle. Run around a circle. Run around a circle. I'm sorry, but it's the most boring thing I've ever done. It's playing as a survivor in Dead by Daylight. Now compare this to Friday the 13th where Jason is here and the counselors are here. Now yes, the killer has a slight advantage over them. Now this is the perfect formula in my opinion for the asymmetrical survival horror games. Why? Well, have you ever actually watched a slasher or horror movie? Because in those movies, the survivors rarely escape. And that's what Friday the 13th does with its balance. It allows them to rarely escape. And I think that is the most ideal formula that you could possibly have in this genre of game. But I'm really curious to see what Justin and his team do in order to balance this out in Last Year the Nightmare. Because according to Justin, it's going to be just as much fun playing as the students as it will the killers. But let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Do you enjoy when the killer is more powerful or when the survivor is more powerful? And what do you think that they can do in Last Year the Nightmare in order to balance this out? Also, don't follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all this other great shit. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification box. If you don't, you want to find kick ass shit such as this. Also, join us on Discord because we're all having a kick ass time in there. And don't forget, I'm viewing copies of Last of the Nightmare, the game. Copies, plural more than one. The link is down in the description below. Why wouldn't you want them for free? Why would you want to pay? Get it for free. Click that link. Well, at least some of you will get it for free. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification box if you don't know if I'd kick ass shit such as this. And be sure to give this video a big thumbs up because 100 likes will get you another Last Year the Nightmare video on this channel. Also, don't forget merch link down in the description below. Eat, sleep, slash, repeat. The four essentials for any gamer that enjoys asymmetrical survival horror. And as always, I'll see you next time.